Welcome Aries to your beginning of the month reading for January 2021. Hope you friends are having a great new year and I hope you continue to have a great new year. Okay friends, let's see what's going on in your energy. Okay. Welcome back all subscribers, anyone new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Okay, getting straight into your energy, this is what you're thinking, feeling, or the energy surrounding you. Aries. What's going on with Aries, please? of Aries. Best message for Aries, please. Best message. Oh, there we go. Draining. That was the first word I heard coming out. Draining. Something is draining. And so I'm just going to keep it there. It's almost like you're looking for your Ace of Cups, but this is draining you. Or you feel drained, right? Okay, Ace of Cups. Please clarify on the Ace of Cups. This card is not only going to clarify on the Ace of Cups, but the entire reading. With it being the Ace of Cups, it could be love is draining you, your money is draining you. Looking for balance. You need some balance going on over here. It, it maybe you're, you know, it's, it also feels like maybe a little bit of fatigueness as well in some areas. Um, it's draining you so much. Maybe you feel tired. Uh, mm. you know, a little bit of everything. Draining my pocketbook, <laughs> you know, money. Could be anything. anything and everything with the Ace of Cups because that's the overall fruitation, right? Um, so let's see what's going on here. So getting straight into the situation, we have the present, the near past, and the near future. In the present, you have power. In the past, you have recognition and reward. And in the near future, is financial material changes. So that definitely could be draining your pocketbook. You're feeling a little fatigued. Everything is draining you. Maybe even your love life is draining you. It just feels like this... Um, overall just feeling right just release it all you have three cards here which is talking about um harmony so so it does feel like once you find the balance overall card you will get the harmony back um finding the harmony finding the peace okay going straight into the past over here you have the recognition and reward it does feel like you were recognized and you did have recognition or you wanted recognition. We'll figure that out right now. With a Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. You did. You were recognized. You were having a great time. Um, you might have even, this is love over here with the Queen of Cups. Um, you had new love um, in the past and it feels like you had all your cups. Just because the Ace of Cups is sitting there, I just feel like you have the fulfillment of all wishes. Um, you had your fru your fruits, right? All your fruits, your peaches, your strawberries, you know, you had them all. Um, finances look good. Love looks good. You had the recognition rewards from, you know, this Queen of Cups. And you're removing successful and you had growth. Um, and it was the perfect timing in the past. Everything was going great. Communication, thinking that this person was the one. Um, I know that they're the one. They're the one for me. Um, it feels like they thought that way too because, you know, you're being recognized. And like I said, she's holding this cup and it just feels like, hey, everything was great. Yeah, you felt like you had your ace of pentacles. You had the hopes, the promises. You were going on this date. You were together. Everything was looking up. Um, you had this brand new, fresh, beautiful start. You had your, all your prosperities. You might have even gotten a promotion at work. Um, and you had this great job. Everything seems to be looking up for you at this time, Aries. You had it all um, in the past, right? And it could have been three months ago, ten months ago, eight months ago. Got a lot going on here. And it does feel like it's somewhere between um, ten to three months ago, right? I'm going backwards to frontwards over here. Everything looks great. But then something happened. Four of Wands. That's, okay, that's why you felt drained. 
all of a sudden, right, getting closer to about, you know, so if you figured this was like eight to ten months ago, all of a sudden about three to four months ago, everything's kind of like, right, maybe even four weeks ago, it just all of a sudden just came to a halt, came to a stop. Four of Wands upside down, the passion is gone. Now I want the recognition and the reward. It feels like all of a sudden everything just dead stopped. Something happened. Uh, loss of perspective. Um, I don't know. Maybe your partner all of a sudden became an attention hound and wanted everybody else's attention as well. And it kind of threw you off. And you were wondering why they want attention from everybody else. Um, maybe they felt like they had the ace of coins with you, but they wanted more, more, more. Um, maybe you asked them to marry you. Or they asked you to marry them. And you were like too quick, too quick. And it just, the perspective just kind of dropped, right? And maybe... When they offered the ace, look, the ace of coins could literally be a marriage proposal. And here's the marriage card. Did someone ask somebody to marry them and then you denied it because it was too soon? Um, and then all of a sudden they didn't give you any more recognition and reward. You're like, no, it's too soon. I don't want to do that. And then all of a sudden they just kind of went a different way. Um, it really does kind of look like that or vice versa. Take it how it resonates, but that's, uh-oh, that's exactly what it kind of looks like. Or they just lost all perspective. Did the other person just all of a sudden decide that they didn't want to work anymore? I don't know. Something just happened and they just stopped. It just, I don't know. Did they all of a sudden lose the puppy love and decide that they weren't, you know, like I said, needed attention somewhere else. Hmm. Interesting. So you have the power over here, and this is very draining. All of a sudden, it's just like everything you had is like draining out of a cup now. It's like taking this cup that you had over here and just throwing it right upside down. And you're drained. Um, you might even felt like, oh my God, what a waste of my time. You've And maybe it even drained your resources. Because um, like I said, with the, with the Ace of Cups, it could be you know, everything. So maybe they drained your resources. Maybe they drained your love, your time. I put all this energy into something and look what happened. You know, as soon as I said, no, I won't marry you. Then all of a sudden the communication is not there as much. Kind of doing their own thing. Page of swords. You have the power over here though, and you're still going strong, even though there's this drainage, the ending, the understanding that it definitely wasn't the way it was before. And you're really just looking for the balance, got the page, the knight of wands, and the five of pentacles. And here you are, Aries. This is an Aries card. You are just moving in your power very beautifully and passionate and just doing what you need to do. Being responsible, manifesting the things you need to manifest and moving forward. Even though you feel fatigued and you feel drained and you feel overwhelmed, um, I really do feel this draining, overwhelming sensation. Like, man, I put everything into that, um, but I got to do everything for myself. Um, this person is still in the picture somehow or another. Um, the communication is not as good. They could be silent and then talking. Um, but they also feels like a lot of times within social media or something or talking to other people, they are talking about you. Um, but it makes you feel like you're kind of out in the cold about it because it does feel like where your connection was before. There's this disharmony and this imbalance going on and it does feel Im very unfair. I'm just going to say it very unfair um, because you wanted to work on something and it just feels like you guys were not on the same page. And all of a sudden, it's almost like they kind of showed this maybe immaturity about the situation as well, um, being that they're coming up as a page of swords. You guys definitely could be dealing <clears throat> with a water sign. I do have Sag Cap here too. 
got Leo. Oh my gosh, I got so many people, but definitely some kind of, you know, air sign is really which Spirit is bringing out that they're air, so we're just going to leave it there. It could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, but yeah, they're, they're showing this kind of immaturity um, towards you by doing the things that they're doing. But it looks like you're just walking strong and determined to get to, there's all this determination. I mean, no matter what, there's this determination. You put me on the cold, but I'm determined to continue to, you know, live life and be, you know, do the things I want, even though I'm tired, um, tired of it. So it does feel that way. Yeah, manifesting. And like I said, the Knight of Wands is also manifesting. So you are taking the action to do the things you're supposed to do. Um, there are other opportunities out there for you and you know this. So you're just, yeah, you have a Wheel of Fortune coming in. Whoa. I would say about the 10th through the 11th of, of January. What's today's? I'm going to put this up, what, the 9th? So in about two or three days from now, it feels like you're going to have maybe all the way to the 5th, maybe somewhere around the 15th for some of you. It's going to be a little different for everybody how the wheel works. Um, so it could be starting the 10th through the 15th. Let's put it that way. Your luck is going to change. The Wheel of Fortune is coming up. Um, you've been manifesting and the things you're manifesting are starting to turn in your favor. Um, so if you are looking for this person to come back and give you balance, you know, that would be a good time to start, you know, yes, working on your relationship. Thank you. And if you're looking for other, you know, you know, just looking for other opportunities on how to fix the relationship. If you're working on saying, hey, you know, I don't want the relationship anymore. I'm going to work on my own spiritual beliefs and work on things for myself. Um, that's, you know, however you're going to do it, however you're going to do this, but you're going to move, you're going to start really taking action and moving forward within this time. Um, cause this time's going to give you super determination. So when this will opens, it's going to change everything and it's going to make you even more inspired and more determined to move than you have been, be, you know, before. And that's why the power is really coming out with this Leo power card is showing you, you are going to get the power back. That's really what I'm seeing right here. I mean, how could you not see that? Well, if fortune opens, you take the power back. You're already in great determination and moving forward, but just wait till that happens, right? Because that's going to give you the opportunity that you need and in the inspiration to say, hey, this is what I need. Um, and it's going to feel like your law and attraction really came in. And uh, wow. Start seeing things from a different point of view about the situation. Okay, so you have your financials and material changes, and that's going to come up with this Wheel of Fortune, you guys, because, <laughs> so for some of you who lost your job over here, and things just seem to take a nasty turn, um, this is going to actually, um, and if your job is just slow or whatever, this wheel is turning in your favor, because look, the near future is financial material changes. So however it is, wherever you're determined, maybe it's an like I said, all areas, it's definitely giving you that leap um, that you need. That big change, because you want to change that Ace of Cups from draining you and drowning you um, to something better. Yeah, Nine of Cups upside down. So where you felt like you were licking your wounds and just moving with that determination and that strong fire that you have, areas of determination, not allowing anything to get you down. Um, that financial material changes is coming. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups upside down, all the confusion is going to disappear because of the Wheel of Fortune coming in with the Knight of Swords. So you're going to start moving beautiful. And who's this? We just said Spirit says what? We're using your person as swords. So this person is going to move at you very fast. They're done with their confusion. They're done. Absolutely done. And that's a Libra card. So now we have Libra twice. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a Libra. Um, but yeah, we have this, you know, and here it comes. Here they come. And they are passionate. And they're going to make you feel passionate and feel like the king or queen that you are. Okay, so where you felt like they were confusing you, they're imbalanced, they're acting unfair, they're doing all these things. Here they're going to come in and make you feel like the king of wands that you are. Um, 
and that's that power again so however you're going to see it there's still a lot of power going on um this is a sag card so that's a lot of power that they're going to instill inside of you when they move towards you because they're going to come at you very passionately and you're also going to be a beautiful king of wands as you're instilling the passion back into your finances and for the, some of you who say this is just finances because there is nobody else um, or I already got rid of this person, then it's just finances. Take it how it resonates, my friends, okay? Because here we go. And like I said, a lot of you probably are dealing with a Libra, but here's that balance again. So now you're finally getting justified. Now you're getting balanced. You're getting back on top where you feel like you're in complete control, not just the determined Leo, I have to put all this power and get back to where I need to be. No, now I'm in control of the situation. Things are justified. Things are fixed. The truth of the matter is I am the king of wands. Wow. And then the messages and moving to the top and the messages coming in and who are the messages coming in from? There's these messages coming in, flying at you. A three of pentacles, that reward and recognition. There it is again. Having the rewards and recognitions is exactly what, it's almost like um, the rewards and recognitions that you wanted in the present, you're now going to get back. So where you had them back here in the past, about, I'm going to say eight to ten months ago, you're now getting back. So it's like you're doing a double loop because of the Wheel of Fortune coming back around for you. Okay. Yeah, and this is going to give you extra inspiration and now you're getting your ace of wands you're getting you are you're taking action and you're getting back the success that you need getting back on top where you need to be oh wow and you need that you need that with the king of pentacles filling your prosperities so the ace of wands is going to come in to show you your prosperities and show you hey you know what not only you're the king of wands but you're also bringing in that money um and it's going to make you feel more self-assured um and hard working, the work is going to really pick up over here for you as the king of pentacles. And there's that material, financial material changes. Wow, with the Taurian energy, right? Yeah. So, yeah, with that earth energy. So, definitely feeling like your finances are getting so much better. Um, and I love having this ace of wands coming in because it's going to give you back um, that self-assuredness that you really direly need over here and that's going to change you from feeling drained and fatigued okay it's going to raise the vibrations raise the vibrations very beautiful my friends so let's see what the angels have to say Ask your angels. That's what the angels say. <laughs> the angels say, ask your angels. And that's over here. Remember, you're manifesting. You have the knight of wands with the magician. So you're just, you know, asking for these lovely things. And I do feel like um, <laughs> as I'm looking at it over here between the hierophant, the magician, and the, and the will of fortune, it's almost going to feel like you've been praying, you've been manifesting, you've been asking your angels, um, and it just feels like more like continue to do so. Um, but it does feel like it's almost going to feel like it's done so quickly, um, within the next few weeks that it's just going to be, it's going to feel like magic. I don't know why I see it like that, but it's going to feel like a miracle, maybe like a miracle, some kind of miracle, some kind of magic. Like, wow, how did this will of fortune get here? You know, I've been praying and I've been asking and my spiritual beliefs have been doing good. And I've been here. We are over here taking action. And then this is going to come in and it's just going to feel like it's actually going to feel a lot faster um, than normal. Um, even though you could say, no, that's not true because I've been doing the heck out of it over here. But it's at the perfect timing, though. You have to see it as the perfect timing. Right. Everything has a perfect timing. So it's going to feel like a miracle came through. That's just what I keep seeing over there. God performing miracles. Okay, you're ready. You're ready. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune is coming in. That's why it's like the universe is answering your, your prayers. 
It's time. Yeah, your time. You're ready for abundance. That's exactly what it is. So, and that's how I feel over here with the King of Pentacles. And remember the Ace of Cups, like I'm going to say it a thousand times. It's the fulfillment of all wishes. It's a fulfillment of all abundance. So, and then having this, you coming out as the King of Pentacles, psh, you can't tell me, you know, that there's no abundance there. That's that love, that nurturing, that money, you know, that Taurian energy, that Venetian energy, because Taurus is Venus. So it's, the abundance of all, right? With that, you know, it's kind of like imprint um, energy coming in. So very beautiful, very beautiful. And let me get a romance angel card for you guys real fast. And let me see what the, what your partner thinks about this, this person. Um, like I said, for those of you who don't have one, um, and this is just all about money and material, um, you can just throw this away. Okay. Throw out what doesn't resonate. And remember, guys, if this doesn't resonate with you, please go watch your moon or your rising videos. Faith, say you're worth waiting for. But I don't still, they're, you know, I, I, like I said, they're, I don't know what they're doing. They have a lot of confusion. That's what I know. Yeah, and forgiving is learning, and there's that forgiving you know, that forgiveness that they're going to come in and, you know, want that. So, and it has a lot to do with career and finance. So maybe they're a lot up in their head because maybe they don't have the career and finance, finances that they want or to have, right? So those are the only cards I got, my friends. So it's worth waiting for, um, for those of you and finances and career. So your person really believes that you are worth waiting for. Um, even though it feels more like they kind of ghosted you, <laughs> but it just feels like there's something going on with them where there's this confusion. Um, it could be all this money, all this pandemic, all this, this no work and shutdowns and, you know, so I, I don't know. It's kind of feels like maybe they're just lost. They feel kind of lost. Um, so, but like I said, they'll come rushing back in and, um, in the near future. Okay, so that was it for you, my friends. Until the next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.